G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jobrutal, and welcome back to 7 Days, we're on console, welcome back to 7 Days Consolation, which is my very, absolutely not clever at all name for this series, where I am back with some rather bad news, I haven't moved at all overnight, I am not brave enough to take on nighttime zombies yet at all, and while I was sitting up here just biding my time, happily, peacefully doing nothing, because I'm using a controller now, I fat fingered it and tapped the down D-pad key, which dropped my pipe machine gun somewhere. I have no idea. It's glitched through the ground, either the ground or the roof. It's somewhere around here or despawned. So in really bad news, my chances of survival, my best weapon is gone. I've been hearing zombies clattering about downstairs all night long, but... <sighs> Finally, it is morning time, so we can quickly have a peek to see if my gun dropped down here. It's oh, no, no, through the door, please. It has not. I haven't even done my looting yet. All right, there's one more chance. There's one more chance. If it popped up, like when I dropped it, I was crouched in the corner. So potentially it popped up and is sitting on the roof. That's my last chance. If it's not there, it's just gone. It's just, it's just gone forever. And given how the end of day one went for me last night. Oh, it's not here. Given how the end of day one for me went, went for me last night, I don't think... I don't think I'm in a good position if I don't have my pipe machine gun. It's not here. It's not here. It's gone. Oh man, that is that is a problem. Well, at the very least, I can get some food into me. I found you yesterday. Don't drop. Definitely use you. That should sort out most of my food and my water issues. Someone's gurgling outside again. Chuck you into there. I still have all the stuff in the wheelie bin downstairs that I chucked in so I could maneuver around a bit better last night. So I have to go and get that nice and quickly. I also... Oh, no. I also... Oh, that, that was a helmet light mod, though. That's really good, Gets. I don't have a helmet to put it into, but getting a mining torch is definitely... Oh, definitely going to be handy. I need to deal with you. I need to deal with you. Plus, there's the loot out here. Lots of looting to do. Got to start the day off with a cheeky bit of looting. Why not? Zombies are all taken care of. You beauty. Can I quickly... I also got some, uh, some soup stock, which I'm stoked about. And Urban Combat Volume 3. Improve your quiet footwork and avoid kicking a can. So sneaking over trash makes no more sound. Beautiful. Whack it in. Yeah, I do not have... I'm just rocking the purple mustache at the moment. I've got no headgear. Might have to make myself a helmet or something just to chuck in my helmet light. I'll take the nails. Thank you. More importantly, take all of you. All of you. Quickly run that back up into my into my not safe at all attic. I need to break these stairs. If I break these stairs, I should be relatively safe, but that's going to have to wait for a moment. There's still more stuff to do. I need to get so much better about using, like, the D-pad. Even though it just betrayed me and threw my gun away, I need to get so much better about using my D-pad to maneuver through all the menus. This is a little bit faster than using the cursor, but I have also turned up the cursor speed so I can maneuver around a little bit faster, but I think mainly... Just to kind of go between like this menu or this menu or wherever I need to go, get myself in a general area, then use the D-pad. Tell ya, it's a learning curve. It's it's taken me an awful lot of uh, limited brain power that I have to remember how to play this game now that I'm not using a keyboard and mouse. Yoom. So get into these buttons. And now that it's moving faster, I'm not nearly as accurate with it. Yeah, <laughs> this is a thing. I'm going to need to get some small stones so I can make myself a campfire. Then I can get my cooking pot. Then I can start clearing out some water and get myself sort of set up. I do have one glue on me. But I'm also going to need... Uh, cubers go away. You. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't. I can't type. I'm also going to need a forge. And what are you going to take? Forge boy, you're going to take cobblestone rods, wood log, duct tape. I reckon I might be going to crank out one of you very early. The thing I'm worried about, though, is with the new updates of Seven Days that made Screamers way more common, running a forge and a campfire might call in a Screamer, and I, I will probably call it a Screamer, and I'm really, I'm really not set up for that yet. I was thinking more about, about what I'm doing with my skill points, and I went with the spear to get that extra range, which I still think was the right move, and in fact, I'm going to triple down on that and spend another point into Perception, so the next point that I can get can get me the next level of spears. That extra range is so good, and I wanted that range without the stamina penalty of the sledgehammers, but I think once I've uh, once I've got a bit further into the game 
and got my stamina points already set up and enough points to buy stamina properly. I reckon... I reckon I respec and go into sledgehammers instead just to better account for the limitations of the controller repair you because spears and rifles are going to be so uh like precision based and i'm not precise with the mouse i can't aim to save my life on a good day so if i get out of that and go into shotguns and sledgehammers i think because sledgehammers have the big swiping blows so like a um an area of attack if i go with that instead i feel like that will suit the controller so much more it does mean going into the strength tree again, which is kind of like the default tree. But I think for this, with what I'm dealing with here, I think that's my best chance of... Uh-oh. I think that's my best chance of surviving. Oh, it was just you. It was just a snake. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Quickly grab my spear out. That... Oh, that extra range should help us. Hunt animals has been completed. I'll have to go and hand that into the trader soon. Quick harvest to you. Grab some extra feathers for some extra arrows. There we go. All right, we're doing all right. <laughs> we haven't left home yet. It's seven o'clock in the morning. But while I'm being super brave and not going anywhere, I'm going to claim it's successful. I know it doesn't super matter, but I want to chuck in if I can. I want to put my campfire in in the sto stove, in the fireplace. It's already got the chimney built in. I, You know, aesthetics always matter. You've got to make sure your little bases are all nice and pretty. So I'm going to chuck my campfire into the hearth. Quickly break away the iron, uh, the iron protection at the front. Who needs safety when you have a me? Oh, it's close. It's close. But if I get rid of that, though, I lose the glowiness. That'll have to do. That'll have to do. You can go into there. I'm going to need some frames to do my fueling. So you. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to take a while. Let's go up and like, purely because I can't bother mashing the button anymore. 30. Sure. That'll, that'll do. God, I missed we got a type. I'll quickly make one of these primitive hoods so that I can... I need you, please. So that I can chuck on my helmet lights. Uh, yeah. Craft... Nope. Nope. That... <laughs> there we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Can't craft you. I need... Why is it lit up all nicer then if I don't have the materials for it? Oh, because I can make a T1. All right. I'll go punch a bush so I can make some more of you. Might as well make the whole primitive set then. Make sure I'm bringing... Both you with me. Not that really help, but any extra mod is a good mod. Take you as well. First aid. I don't need ammo because I threw away my gun like the pelican that I am. Okay. All right. It's, it's, it's been a long morning trying to get my life in order, but I think we're just about there. I still need to clear out the, the rest of the pier while I'm living. Oh, okay. Miss, I missed the grass. Uh, the rest of the pier while I'm living in, there's a whole like sewer system under here, but that's going to have to wait. I want to go see Trady. I need money. I need respect. I need a cooking pot. There's lots to do. It's funny how things kind of cascade like that, because normally, I mean, if I was playing on PC or if I was in any, any way comfortable with what I'm doing right now, oh, that's kind of nice. If I don't use the cursor, it just automatically starts the reticle up in the top left. I can't loot you. You're already done. But I would normally do all that, like, uh, inventory sorting and getting, like, my campfire down and, like, kind of sorting my life out done overnight. But because I'm so terrified of this game now that, like, you know, the zombies at night and I know if I get into a battle with them, I'm just going to get cooked. Then I'm, I'm, I'm cowering. I'm wasting all of my night product, uh, productivity time, all of my night time, hoping that no one finds me. Speaking of things that I wish I couldn't find, get out of how I am. Stop staring, asshole. <laughs> I'll stop staring at assholes. I'm very sorry. Are you selling Try inventory? Try smart, and you'll get a new start. Oh, 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 the boy can rhyme. Look out. He's been reading at least one book. Um, Are you selling a... Uh, oh, you're selling some cobblestone, which I do kind of need, but that's cheap to make. Are you selling a cooking pot? There you are. 600 bucks and the cooking grill is the same and you're selling some eggs and learning licks up is 10 times that price at six grand motherfucker oh my goodness <laughs> listen i smell like a sailor at the best of times but even it's a bit much coming from you for me and that's saying something oh i still got a job from you i came here for no reason I, can't, I, I went to go see Wrecked for no reason. That's the worst. While I'm running out to this job for Wreckers, I can quickly grab the extra reeds that I need to make the armor. But I should have by now. I do. It takes a long time to get through everything. Modify you. I'm going to chuck in... Uh, yep, that one. Right-click that. I can go straight into you. I can also then make... 
I've got a pretty good outfit already, so I'll focus on the stuff that I don't have. Craft Yoom. Gonna need some more to make the rest of my sweet sticks and stones outfit. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. We're just we're, we're shoving a whole plank of wood directly on our noggin. What could be wrong with that? It's gonna be great. Look at us. <laughs> it's perfect protection. We could just get rid of this crawler in the reeds. Hold on. Yeah, look at the range. That's what I wanted. I've got to start using it a bit better. I get way too close to the zombies when I don't need to. You're gone. Any extra battle I get into will serve me well. <laughs> At least I hope so anyway. We're almost finally to the quest. Check everything on the way past. I think I'm good though. I think I'm, I'm fully armored up now. Oh, some extra glue. Thank you. And I think I read it was, it was up on the D-pad. Okay, up on the D-pad turns on and off my helmet line, which is dangerous though. Because if I press down on the D-pad, I throw my precious weapons away and I never get them back. I'm spewing. I'm spewing like a sick seagull that I lost my bloody gun like that. It means that if I come across like a dog or something today, I'm I'm absolutely spattered. There's no way I'm going to survive a zombie dog attack. The mach my pipe machine gun was my only chance and it's gone. It's gone to the ether. Oh, but that will do very nicely. Look at that. Shots to the legs with arrows and bolts will slow your opponent. I'm, <laughs> I'm not... Oh, it's the mausoleum as well. I'm not sure I have the ability to hit that shot on a good day. Oh my goodness. It's like, it's all the bases that I lived in in the first 1.0 series. Got the mausoleum next door to the fire station. Wow. It's like, it's all of my lives come together in one place. Before I reset you though, oh, cheeky deeky like, nope, that's not crouch. Grab the army box underneath for some extra ammo. Thank you. And a grave digger mod. That's not too shabby at all. Actually, I can put that straight into i mean i'm not gonna i could put it into the shovel but i think i need it in my stone axe for now modify you i'll move you later but for the moment there we go and then i can quickly just uh, yep there you go give you a little tickle and grab you again <laughs> cheek a little double dip but it's fine it's fine i need some luck oh, i mean ammo's ammo i suppose i'm not gonna turn it down just take this nice and slow. Nice and slow. It's only a it's only a fetch quest. It's over to fetch and clean. So I could just grab the gubs and get out of here and go back to trade to get my reward. But I think instead, I will try and clear the place, get the extra XP, as well as get shit. As well as get the ammo at or oh, hopefully the ammo, but the loot at the end. Remember what I said about I couldn't hit the broadside of anyone's barn, so shooting him in the legs was never gonna work for me? This is a great example of my complete lack of any discernible talents. I can't hit him. I can't. There we go. Finally. He was sitting out there begging for it for so bloody long and I couldn't hit him. Bloody awful. I put an arrow straight through his knee though. And it took me seven attempts. That's we're fine. I know there's plenty of zombies waiting for me down here. So I just want to... No, not wake him up. He was snoozing for a second. Okay, just stay right there. Stay there. I don't need to... Okay, that's even better. If I just don't aim, if I just kind of hip fire the bow, I seem to have a much better strike rate than I did before. Stand up, please. Stray for a little bit. Don't worry about headshots much. Just getting some damage down. He's pissed off and he's moving faster. There's also... There's another zombie down there somewhere. There you are. Missed it. Missed it. Damn it. Hold on. How about life's doing good things so I can see what I'm <laughs> unable to hit. Just hold on. I got gotcha. you. I got a little bit of arrows. Might take some time, but I'll peck away. Take all my arrows back out of you. Thank you very much. And out of you as well. Okay. All right. Well, I don't have an escape route out of here. So if shit kicks off, I've got to go back up into the attic and try to quickly climb a ladder with these thumbs. Never going to bloody happen. So we just have to hope that things are going to work out fine for me. And given I keep forgetting what button it is to uncrouch... I don't like my chances. I don't see any cooking pots in the kitchen. I would love a freebie. A cheeky handout would go so far for me right now. That's going to have... Oh, well, I thought it was going to have... A zombie in there. I can hear someone moaning and groaning on the outside. I don't want to pick a fight. Uh-oh. Don't want to pick a fight with anything too big and scary for the moments. Oh, that was... Oh, it wasn't a headshot. He's mad. was a headshot. He's mad. Hold on. Can I get you sat, please? Oh, thank goodness. As soon as I get a ragdoll, I stand a much, much better chance. It's still only 1v1, and I'm packing my dax every time I get a trundle up. Not a good sign. Not a good sign for a galah like me. I'm going to quickly... Oh. Oh. 
I'm a cucumber. Hold on. Nice stealth kill. Beautiful. That's much easier. Turns out not waking everybody up makes things a little bit a little bit more easy to handle. Open you so I can bail out the front door. God, look how safe that looks. Look at the nice stone walls. It's calling me. It wants me inside it, which is a first for me. I just want to move faster. I just want to move faster through the looting, through the battles, through the POIs, through everything. And everything this takes so much longer just to go through. Oh, that key also opened the back door. I didn't even realize. I didn't realize. That could have meant that any zombie could have snuck up on me. Speaking of sneaking up on things, though, I see you in the corner. Good shot. All right, so the primitive bow is starting to work for me again, which I'm a big fan of. There's some cheeky food up in the rafters as well. I can now make cornbread and golden rod tea. I'm a little bit peckish. I'll just eat you straight away. A lot of like, because I'm trying to think through everything of what I'm doing, a lot of this series is probably going to be just me talking to myself and trying to reassure myself that I'm doing the right thing and going step by step through everything I'm supposed to do. Because every like... Every bit of muscle memory, every bit of reflex that I've ever built up for seven days is completely banished. Grab all of you and all of you. What do I need? I need a cobble. Ooh, read you. That's five books. Now I think I need a few more before I can make bacon and eggs. Oh, what a cheeky frothy. You know what? You've, you've earned it. You've earned it. You're going to get fuzzy on, but that's okay. It's just regular life for me. We're good. You've, you've definitely earned a cheeky bit of suds. It's been a day and a half. It does mean that I can barely see, but that's okay because I do have the power of auto aim. I was going to say there should be a few more in here and that's the satchel that I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all right. Open the door for me, please. Give me a little bit of something sun to aim at. Missed it. Missed it. I had one beer and I can't get my stick in the hole anymore. I'm, I'm failing. I'm failing. I failed all of that. <laughs> She's even trying to help me and I still can barely get the job done. There you go. You're done. I'm thirsty. I disagree. I just punched a pint. Maybe drink it might help me next time instead. Oh, speaking of punch, they're going to punch me. They're going to punch me. This is why I opened the door. Come outside, please. Wait for the headshot. Missed the headshot. Don't know what you were aiming for instead, but I won't ask any questions. Here we go. You're not quite dead. Wait for the XP pop. Wait for it. There we go. All right, we're fine. We're fine. No one saw, no one saw my shame. Just gonna quickly organize my inventory so I can see what's what. Make sure I'm scrapping the office chairs for the leather. I now know that leather is super duper critical, so I don't want to lose it anytime I can find it. I'm a little bit cucumber, but that's okay. Um, I can probably get rid of you. Drop you. Drop you into the two bones. I'll be fine. We're about to fill up on other things. Bookshelf with vehicle adventures. Use you nice and fast and armored up. I can make primitive armor quality four. When do I, when do you reckon is the right time to start upgrading my armor though? That's the satchel that I need. I'll take you. Like there's like when he's getting to like the proper armor, he's like getting all of the extra buffs and bonuses. But I'm not sure off the top of my head what I should be hoping for out of that. Pistol peak volume two. Each successive shot to the same target increases the chance to cripple by 10%. Read you. I'm not rolling pistols, but it's always good to have those books. More vehicle adventures and weighted head mod schematic. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not, not bad loot, actually. Not bad loot at all. Pretty satisfied. I think everything's done. I do like that there's more of a town down here for me to loot as well. There's a passing gas. There's the fire station. There's... Ooh, there's an Aldo's cabinet down there as well. There's a couple of good POIs around the joints. Not too so bloody shabby, but no time for that right now. It's now half past three. It took me so, so long to clear that POI that I've wasted most of my day. It's not a waste though. We invested. We spent our time wisely doing bloody uh, Trader Rex chores. It's like doing the bloody dishwasher. Uh, all right, I get it. There's stuff to do. Just searching all of the uh, all of the mailboxes on the way through. Another armored up book. I'll take you and... 5% less damage. I take 5% less damage indoors while I deal 10% more. Those urban combat books are so bloody good. I mean, yeah, like urban combat five, is, uh, urban combat five, that's how words work, is still like the golden book. That's still the best one of that series when you don't detonate landmines, when you definitely accidentally kick them. But I'm happy for any of them. All of them help in some sort of way. And I need every, every bit of assistance I can get. I'm back again, Wrecked. Your favorite boy has returned. I didn't, I didn't get scraped either. Not bitten, not scratched. 
Now he's super pleased hand, about that as well. I bet you got dysentery. The way now, you smell. Well, unlike you, mate, I wash my hands. That wouldn't matter anyway. So spear hunter form, which would give you what? Down opponents suffer fifty percent more damage from power attacks. Shotgun Messiah Volume Four or crafting, crafting skill magazine bundles. I usually go with the skill magazine bundles because progressing my crafting is always more important. But I think a book that's actually really going to help me right now is probably the Wiser Call. Only a hundred dollars? You gave me a hundred bucks for that. A hundred smackers. I'd rather smack you a hundred times. That is a stitch up. I will take the clear back. zombies job then at the rebar residence. Just stand there with your thumb up your ass. Get lot the of, job done. A lot of ass talk for you today, mate. You got shit on the mine and shit for brains as well. You can buy this one. Nope, this one off me. Sell you. Don't sell the book that I actually need. It's the first battery I found, so I'll keep you with me. You can buy the brass off me though. I'm not really doing great. I'm not really doing great for money. I need so much more cash. Cooker just ransacking the rest of his joint because even though even though he may be a spanner, I can still rob him blind. Another forger headbook. You beauty. Thank you. I'll take you and you. You can keep your rotten trash. It suits you. Uh, oh, some more glue. I mean, that's all going to help me get my forge up and going. If I get my forge going, I can just make myself my cooking pot on my own. I don't even bloody need Trader Rex. Take all of you. Thank you very much. You drop some shit off back at home and get cracking on the next thing. Got to do those jobs. Got to try and push those jobs as fast as possible. The quicker I do the jobs, the quicker I can leave Rex behind. I was just coming in to make some arrows, but even, even with just the gubs that I found from Rex, I can remake... Yeah, I should definitely do that. I can remake my pipe machine gun that I mysteriously lost overnight. That's going to help me an awful lot. I'll quickly move all of you guys out of the way. Chuck you down in my hopper. You can get red. I did find some cash as well, but I'll stash that back at home. I'm nine cucumbers. Damn it. <laughs> it's just, I keep filling up with stuff. I'm just a loody boy. I can't help it. It's not much, but it's five rounds that I wouldn't have otherwise. Use you. Nope. Use, yep. Use your D-pad. Can I quickly... I can go left to go right like it's bloody Pac-Man. Chuck all of you into them. Same one into this. Oh. No. Oh, no, kind of. I'm just... <laughs> I'm I'm fumbling around like three blind mice in the dark. Not that it matters if it's dark to them, but you know what I mean. Okay, I'm a little bit thirsty. I do not... Oh, I've got you to drink. It's going to give me 10 waters. Sounds good to me. Whack that in your gob and slurp it all down. I'm going to try and avoid drinking the murky water as long as possible. Okay, all right, we're good. I can quickly do this next job. I'm going to have to quickly go as fast as I can. Because if I can do that... Get back to trading and get back home before dark, which is a big ask, I know. I might have time to break out the stairway in the middle of the house. And then, I guess at that point, if the, the zombies do find me, they can't really get to me. Just that extra level of security. Don't recognize the place immediately. It doesn't look too bad for me. You know what is a bit of a stitch up, though? Oh, that mailbox is empty. I've, like, I've stepped into, into Spears... And I found no spear books to craft a better one. I can craft a better knife. I can craft a better club, for goodness sake. I'm not getting any of the books for the the skills that I've specced into, which is not helping, not helping me at all. I thought that was a zombie. It's just some luggage. I thought it was a scomo at first. There's no leather in here. Um, is this the one that has... Oh, come on. Door. 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 There you go. Is this one that has the fake floor? I reckon it probably might be. Quickly open up you, and then open up you too. Oh, I don't like the drops. Is it going to be the drop? Yes, it is. Oh, damn it. I hate going down. I'm like DJ Carlin. All right, well, there's no alternative. and I've got to try and go quickly. So just man up, Josh, and get in there. There's no welcoming party, which is good for me. Quickly close that door. Turns out half my problem at the moment is just fumbling bloody door handles. It's here to bone knife. I've already got one, but thank you anyway. Nothing else to really loot. Some concrete. No time. No time. Just get in and get through and get out again. Shit. Hang on. Oh, I got the door in time. Oh, I got the door in time. <laughs> That's what I'm most excited about. I sort of mildly threw the sternum, but I'm most excited about getting the door closed. Oh, man. It's like all of my goals in this game have suddenly changed. Just, just being a basic human being is enough to get me excited.
I'm trying to do my best to check my corners. And I'll probably still miss any zombies that are nearby. Definitely no one there. Although it's a clear quest, which gives me the red dots. Okay, that's that's much better. That's much better for a map like me. That's a tough shot, though. Nah, no chance. No ch With the new spl uh, spray patterns on the primitive bow, there's no chance of hitting those dicey, more difficult shots. Especially when the hitboxes dick me like that. Both times. All right, one of those should have hit, surely. I'll shoot it through the ankle instead then. I know it's 2024 and I'm going for feet, but don't judge me. We don't kink shame him. You're gone. I'll take those arrows back again. Thank you. And it should be another one. Yeah, just then. Turn the headlight off for extra stealthy goodness. And boop. Boop like that. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Good to know some of the old charm. Charm of seven days is still there. And grab this weapons bag from behind the stairwell. It's half past seven. It's already half past seven. God damn it. Come on, seven. Keep up. I know you're thirsty, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine if you don't fucking take my pants down and spank me like a bloody abused child. What the shit? I just made one. I just wasted those re- It's fucking- As I said, the same charm of seven days is still there. That's seven days to die 101. Hey, you just spent all your precious resources making this weapon. Be a shame if you just found a free one four seconds after. Why am I even surprised? Why am I even surprised? That's like the whole MO of this game. It's not a zombie apocalypse game. Uh-uh. It's a resource apocalypse game by dicking around like that. Let's quickly check that cupboard across the room. There was a zombie in them. Come on. <laughs> Just getting the radical where I needed to be is a struggle. You're gone. I don't think there's anyone else around. I'll take my arrow back again. Quickly. Oh, more tense. Quickly check the carpet bag for any extra goodies. Just go. Just gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. I didn't even check the kitchen yet. I'm definitely more panicked about the time than I should be. I just want to get that stairwell broken, though. If I can break the stairwell, I can put my forge down and not really have to worry about the screamers that are definitely going to show up soon. That was some charred meat that I can't eat because it's going to ruin my thirst even more. <gasps> coffee pot. Coffee pot. Does someone put on a fresh pot? Fresh pot of coffee? Just the beans. Just the beans. Rude. There's so much concrete here that I'm not going to be grabbing because I just don't have the time for it. Headlight off. Door open. And probably roll with the bow out. Oh! Yep, that's why. I think he caught that arrow. I think he put his hand up in front of his face and deflected it before it actually got... Shit! Ow! God, was a lot of blood that just came out of me. Before it actually got to his chinny chin chin. Like his bristly like a, like a pig in a wolf story. Take all of you. I definitely do not need... Oh, uh, go faster, go faster, go faster. You can go in my hot bar. You can get thrown away. See you later. Was there anyone else? Now nah, we're fine. Just gonna be the last room in here. Who's waiting for me? Who's waiting? They're immediately woken up. Didn't even give me a chance to be stealthy. That's fine. Through the door. Oh, look at that. When I haven't been punching frothies all day, I'm way better at doing this. That was that was like four from five. And you know what? That's, that's worth a gold star for effort. Oh, my stamina. Stamina's good. Zombie's good. It's 8.30. Grab the loot and go. We can make it back in time. Oh, a pipe rifle. I'm not specced into it yet, but that's still handy. Another forger headbook and a shovel. I will scrap you. I will read you. I didn't even realize till it was too late, but I did get another uh, medical book. So I can now make, uh, if I go into here somewhere, it's going to be probably that one. one. Oh, there it is. First aid bandos. I can now make myself my own first aid bandages. That's like one of the big, one of the big main first steps of seven days is your own medical supplies. Do I even have the room for you? I probably do. This is... Oh, oh, I don't actually. Can I throw something away? What do I need? I don't need you. You, drop that. I'd rather the concrete. Although, if I don't make it home in time, it won't matter anyway. I don't think I'm going to have the time to get back to traders and hand this him. I'm going to do my best anyway. What time does he close? I learned this lesson the other day and I've immediately forgot. I think it's like 10 to 10. I think he closes up shop. He closes 10 minutes early. I remember screaming about that in complaints. Uh, maybe I, maybe I am the Karen asking for a manager. Whoever would have thought. But get there quick. I can hand this in. Get back home. It might be... Oh, do I have any stones on me? I've got a couple. It might be a bit of a dicey trek home. Throwing pebbles to try and distract zombies and just sneaking back again. God, the stuff... 
I don't know what it is about the console version. Maybe it's just like all the all the tinkering they've done to 1.0 is made this way. But I tell you, the start of this game now is so intense. There's no downtime. Every minute the ticks away is another heart palpitation I got going on. All right, Wreckers, nice and quick. Give him my gubs. Run up Holy to you. Shit. I thought you were a zombie. You I'm about to be if you don't now, help don't me you? out here. Here's 60 pain, rounds of 7.62 ammo. Or some food or a bar brawling book. I actually need ammo more than anything else right now. So I'll take you. It feels weird to have turned down. Look, I'm taking the job right now. Feels weird to have turned down two book bundles in a row. But you just got to do what you got to do. We got to go. We got to go. It's half past nine. The zombies get worse in half an hour. I've got to get back home. And I still haven't even beaten the death of the stairwell. Got to do that. Got to do that. Oh. Thank God it's almost closing time. <laughs> 30 seconds of conversation is too much for wrecked and suddenly i relate to him a whole lot i've gotten home we're all good and it's gonna knack my stamina like a horse at the glue factory but i need to oh no wrong button josh b is not crouched for goodness sake i need to get rid of you there's four blocks i'm gonna have to break the stair and the block underneath it come on stamina for the love of everything this is more important you're just gonna have to push through I don't have... Oh, I... Wait, did I turn on my campfire? I can hear burning. I don't think that I did. But I don't have the cooking pot to boil the water anyway. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Just do this. You can't drink the murkies. You're just going to have to deal. Just get it done. Get it done. It's about to be night time. One block down. Three more to go. The night time's just fallen, but we're okay. I'm going to quickly just chuck you... Whatever I can. Oh, go left. Go left to go right like it's the greatest movie of all time. You can go into there. Just put anything I can away into that. And then same again. So what's, how, what's the fastest way to get to the deposit all button? Up, left, up. Up, left, up. Okay, it's like putting in freaking Konami codes just to put your storage away. God, God, I miss having a mouse. But it's now night time. And because I was here when night time fell, zombies would have spawned, but reasonably far away i i hope i assume i have to assume so i should have a little bit of time before they wander over close just go just go just get it done so there's some really bad news for me underneath these stairs is a wall so if i'm getting rid of the stairs means they can't find a way up which means i just kind of run around downstairs and beat on shit but because there's that wall underneath the fastest way to get to me for a zombie running through the front door over there is still going to be to run up these stairs, run along the top of that wall. They break one block, the block I'm standing on here, and they'll have access to the top story. Son of a bitch. I've put all my stones away. I thought I heard some zombies. But, so that actually means this isn't a very good base at all. It's going to take a lot more work to get this place nice and secure as I was hoping it was going to. Although what I could do... Uh, uh, It'd be too, it's going to be way too hard to move things now. So I'm kind of stuck with this. I'm going to have to make this work. Uh, you, can I quickly repair my axe? And what I might do is use that um, use that mechanic that they're going to run up and over that, the top of that wall anyway to see if I can get some advantage in that. And if I quickly make some spikes, because if that's the only way for them to get to me, they're going to be funneled then. I'm mostly concerned about a screamer showing up. So if I put some spikes down, screamer shows up, probably skittles herself on the spikes anyway, and I don't have to deal with it. And I just got to keep the spikes up and going with some wood, which should, should be doable. Cost me 20 wood per spike. So I'll make, mm, let's go like four of those, I feel like. I'm actually just uh, breaking down another couple of blocks here to really solidify the pathing. I, there's only one wall there, so one block wide. If I get rid of this right-hand side stuff, it should really make sure that anyone who shows up goes down there you need to go as well and because i got four i can go one here one there i can actually double stack them i can double stack them because then at least you know if multiple shows up because screamers you're missing the blocks just waste all that stamina uh screamers show up in ridiculous numbers now so if i have a couple different spikes there if they do double up i should be able to take care of both of them before they squeal and call in the horde oh we're um we're on some fine lines here Old mate's really having a bad time with his stamina. He's hungry. He's dehydrated. He's just, he's basically a husk trying to break a house apart. Not really, uh, not really sorted out for any sort of deconstruction work. I need you. Let's get out of the way, please. I'm going to grab my new spikes. 
No, yep, yep, there we go. Those are the right buttons. I'm gonna go like this. We're gonna chuck one, them, them. I'll take you back, and we're gonna go that one and that one. So the, I mean, I sort of figured a way for me to get in and out of this place, but I'll do that once I have some food going again. Might just chuck like a broken ladder just next to it so I can get up and zombies can't, but that should keep the screamers away, which means all I need to do now is make a forge. Make a forge, make a pot, make some food to keep myself alive. It's all step by step. So I'm short a few ingredients to make myself my forge. There's more cobblestone, which I can craft, my wood log, which I can craft. I'm gonna have to quickly scale out the rest of the, um, the rest of the house to see if I can find myself some more leather. Because that's that's gonna be the biggest hurdle. That's what I've been scrapping down those uh, desk chairs that I fire, because leather is always super important. Uh, you, gonna need one of you, craft that. And dark tape, which is gonna be somewhere in here. I got, I got it. Oh, there it is there. I gotta figure out where everything is still. Craft up you. So it really is just, it's just the leather. It's just the leather. But I'll hopefully go and find some leather overnight. So when I come back in the morning, I will have my forge. Get my forge, get my cooking pot, get my food. Because I'm really hungry and really thirsty. And that first cooking pot is the most important thing. If I can't get that done tonight, I'll have to go back to Trady first thing in the morning and buy one from him. But 600 bucks I'd rather not spend, but gotta do what you gotta do. But I'll have to come back and hopefully not have to do that in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.